All right, guys, so we're at Colonial Lake. As you can see, they have really, really nice this place up. Beforehand, none of this was here. It was all just the lake and then that area there and maybe some sitting area. So I'm going to wander around and see what else I can find for you guys. So I just want to show you guys as people are bringing their dogs here. This is a dog park. You can bring your dog as long as they're nice and you pick up after them. And over here is the tent where the scavenger hunt is going on. I wanted to show you this because uh, whenever you went, whenever I went on to the Facebook page for this, the people were talking about how they swam in here and everything, and I didn't think you could do that, but apparently there are steps right down into it. So this is an interesting place to just sort of wade around, I guess. Swim from one side to the other. What you're really going to like about this is that you are surrounded by the historical houses as well. So you get... A nice little park to swim in. You get some nice greenery because man they did a good job on this. And then also the historic homes. So yeah not bad at all. Great for a little outing if you ever want to come down. Alright guys the model yacht people have actually wrapped it up for the day but you can actually come see them Sundays and Wednesdays between 11 and 1 and you know I will be out here again to see that. So here's just an example of what you can find wherever you come down here. And uh, and we those, those racing days are at the James Island Park. James the Island Park. Sail down here. Oh, okay, so I'll, I'll have to figure out where that is, guys, and then go there, because I don't think I've ever been there. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. It's, it's, on, uh, it's on James Island. Right? Yeah. It's the James Island County Park. Oh, okay. Rivlin Drive. Cool, and you guys are there Sundays and Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I didn't even know that that was a thing that happened. That's so well, cool. That's why we're, one of the reasons we're here today to let folks know that we are there. And they used to sail years ago here on the lake. Mm -hmm. uh, we sail over there because the lake had not available. And this lake, this lake has salt water. Oh. And that doesn't do real good with electronics. So oh, yeah, that's true. James Island Lake is all fresh water. They're pretty much fresh. So um, that's uh, why we sail over there. But we, we'll probably be back down here sometime now. I think I've got everything fixed up here. Oh, nice. Okay. So either way, people can see you here, or but definitely at the James Island definitely one. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Okay. Great. Thank you. I'm going to get some sure. pictures. <laughs> Aren't they cute, guys? Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Let's go around. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm one working on his. <laughs> That's too cool. Excuse me. Oh wow, that's cool. And these are remote controlled, so it is like a real race. They don't just set them on the water and let them float down. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at this one, it's red. Nice. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Uh, about two years. Two years? Maybe closer to three. Yeah. You like it? Whose is this with the Tom and is it? It's a lot of fun. We got all sorts of graphics, all kind of different things. That is neat. <laughs> that is cool. There goes one, guys. 
Isn't that neat? Uh oh, oh no, no. Don't fall over. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is too cool. Right around the green dot. Nice. better than they have originally been. The lake is the same size. The green space around the park, around the lake, is a little bit bigger on the Ashley and Rutland Street side. Uh, and I think that's bringing everything up to speed uh, with the history. But if you're interested in a more in-depth illustrated history, I'm doing such a thing at uh, the Public Library on Calhoun Street uh, next week. June, and then again at the end of July, repeating that program on my blog site, which I call Charleston Time Machine. I've got a brief essay just encapsulating everything I just told you. And we're interested in sharing that with friends and family. And the most important part, guys, the food. Oh, they show, they sold out. Short grain. Why? So of course, food trucks. They like food trucks for these types of things because, you know, of course, they can just park and you can get whatever you want. I've never heard of this one. Eat Roddy Rolls. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Looks awesome, though. I know the mac and cheese one is here. Oh, there's the lobster ones. You can see they have tables out. These guys over here are doing bubbles, which I think is cool because they go right across the... Oh, my camera is catching this. Right across the water. And he's trying to do even bigger ones. Oh, there it goes. Too sweet. All right, so I'm back around to where I started. Nice little place. You guys should definitely come check it out. If you live here, this is definitely a local thing that you should definitely do. If you're visiting or when you visit, you should definitely come check it out. All right, guys, I'm headed home. 